Well, it's the first full week of spring, but parts of the country are seeing blizzard conditions. Yeah, look at that. Some cities are digging out of more than a foot of snow. The spring storm is hitting the central U.S. Drivers are dealing with treacherous travel conditions and schools across the region are closed. In Minneapolis, yesterday was the snowiest day in the city since January of last year. We're expecting more rain this week to add to what is already the eighth wettest March on record in Norfolk. Meteorologist Taylor Stephenson has more new at 530. Hey everybody, it's meteorologist Taylor Stephenson. Let's talk about the soaker of a month we've had so far. Already at the Norfolk International Airport since the beginning of the month, we've accumulated over seven inches of rain. This is about double what we should see during a normal March. And we still have about a week to go to add on to those rainfall totals. Now we won't hit the wettest March ever set back in 1994. 10 inches is kind of out of our range, but with with a weather maker coming during the middle of the week, we could add another one to two inches of rain on top of our already very high rainfall totals. The caveat is this rain needs to fall at the Norfolk International Airport. It doesn't matter if it falls in downtown or other parts of Norfolk, it has to be at the airport. But easily, just one inch of rain can move us up a couple of spots. Two inches of rain could put us in the top three all-time wettest marches. We'll calculate the numbers here at 13 News Now and tell you how we round out the month in a few days. For 13 News Now, I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson.